When we ask users what's the biggest bugbear when using RailClone, the response is generally materials. And if you've used RailClone for a while, you'll already know why. Unlike Forest Pack, which consolidates the materials applied to source objects automatically, RailClone used to require you to build complex multi sub object materials and reassign material IDs manually. This was a tiresome process, especially when using RailClone as a layout tool to distribute models from a library. Take an example. In this scene, we want to add 20 cars. Each of these has separate and quite complex materials. If we wanted to use these in RailClone 3, we'd have some work to do. First up, we need to consolidate all the materials for all the cars into a single multi sub object material, and then change all the material IDs to match this new Uber material. And one way to do this was to attach all the cars into a single object, and this automatically consolidated the materials as we're demonstrating here. And then once you've done that, you'd have to detach them again, and then you'd have to realign the pivots, and so on and so on. So phew, it wasn't ideal, but once you had that done, you would at least have a multi sub object material. But what a material, it would be huge and difficult to manage should you wish to make a change. Imagine for example, I just want to change the body paint on this car. Which material is that? It would take a while to work it out. So something had to be done to make this easier. And so in RailClone 4 we added the option to simply take the material from the source and apply it to the instances at render time. And all it takes is the click of this button. And that's it. There are a couple of things to be aware of though. Firstly, due to some clever render time wizardry, you won't actually see the source materials assigned to RailClone objects in the viewport. In the viewports, you still see whatever's assigned directly to the RailClone object. But as soon as you hit render, the materials on the source object are used automatically. And secondly, at the time of the release, we've added support for this feature to V-Ray and Arnold, while other renderers can easily add support using our updated API, so we hope you'll see widespread adoption coming very soon. <laughs>